Okay, well here we have the inside of the control box. These are the control valves. And as you can see, what makes this hammer a little different is that the actual valve is mounted on a plate, which is what you can change. Let me turn the air off. Which is what your the relationship is what you're going to be changing when you move the arms. So without having to open up the the hammer, you get to control where the air valves are striking the. Uh, this control arm. And I'm going to just lock this in place again. Alright, so this is how the hammer works. You have that control arm right here, which runs down and is connected to the treadle. So when you step on the treadle, you're changing the angle of the control arm. So in this particular position, you'll notice that this air valve is touching the control arm. This is the up air valve and this is the down air valve. And it's not. And then as you push and change the angle, what happens is this air valve, the up air valve opens and as the head rises, the steepness of the control arm changes and then begins to contact the downward arm. So we can watch that. Now the more you step on the treadle, the further the angle changes. So it's a pretty straightforward kind of system.